Um. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, guys, we're having a thirst, but approximately it'll go up in a little bit. to the checklist guys I'm so happy to be here with you once again and please like share comment and subscribe to our lovely beautiful channel and you know how we do here we just do chilled vibes no drama please just no drama guys we just want the light the soft life <laughs> So guys, um, today I'm going to be trying out something new for you guys. I'm going to be vlogging. So I have a little mini staycation um, that I have booked um, in Somerset West um, here in Cape Town. And yeah, it's the weekend of the trip and I'm going to try to vlog guys. I'm so terrible at vlogging. If In case you guys don't know, the person that is really good at vlogging is my sister. And speak of the devil, she is calling me right now. Ugh, this girl. I'm trying to vlog. Can you just let me be? I'm trying to vlog. Can you just let me be? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to vlog. I am. I mean, what's that at night? What response? Sorry about that guys, me and my sister had some serious issues to attend to. Guys, don't you always feel like there's always drama in your family? Like the amount of drama that I have to go through every single month is astonishing and astounding. Ugh. But anyway, let's get back to the juice. So I'm going to be trying to vlog for you guys. This is my first vlog. So it is definitely going to be all over the show, all over the place. Um, I hope I get it right. I don't have a vlogging camera or a good quality camera um, on my phone. So I have to use my Canon camera in order to vlog. But I've decided to take on this task and just bring you on for the ride. Because in all honesty, guys, the reality TV streets have been a little dry. There's nothing inspiring. I mean on TV right now that I want to talk about except for the river <laughs> and that's not a reality TV show guys I just recently got into the river why didn't anybody tell me that the river has it going on like that show has it really going on Lindy where is my Witty King she is my girl that girl can act that not even a girl yo that woman can act that woman is inspiring like I, I just love the river but anyways we're not here to talk about the river so the reason why I decided to like get on here and actually share this vlog is that you know what this month has been like the heaviest month for me I think in 2022 like my daughter was hospitalized um, I had to go to Rustenburg um, just a week back and it was so difficult um, seeing her in that state and you know the most difficult part as well was that yes we do have medical cover but you just want the best medical cover for your daughter and my medical funds had been depleted and um she was admitted to a private hospital so i didn't know what was going to happen i didn't know when the bill comes through how much i'm going to pay and here on the other side you're just thinking you know what just take care of my daughter like I don't care I'm not gonna take my daughter to like a public hospital take care of my daughter I'll see when that bill comes we'll figure it out we'll see what happens but also at the same breath because you are you 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 know Hori, you know you have to pay for this if like whatever fee that comes you have to pay for it now okay I have to make plans okay if, if it so comes that I have to pay for this how am I gonna pay for it checking into my savings what's going to happen but Laura and behold, which again, God is good. Um, everything has been handled the right way that it should be handled. And 
and I'm just so grateful for God like God really comes through when you really really need him um, and it's just been so smooth sailing she went for her follow-up with the pediatrician she's getting the best medical care and that's all a mommy could ever want you know um, just working so hard every single day and just thinking I mean I'm always vision forward when it comes to her thinking what's gonna happen in future which school she's gonna go to how, how I'm gonna raise her how it's going to be um, so yeah that's one thing that made it so difficult but I really 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 am grateful that she's okay and she didn't have anything serious um, that she was diagnosed with she just had like a very bad fever and this fever has been going around so I'm just thankful to God and yeah another little bit of tea quickly I have to like go to work it's Friday um, and that sucks actually sidebar that sucks that you know what I can't go to the trip earlier because I had to take leave for my daughter now I can't take leave this Friday but I think Fridays are very chilled so I'll have fun it would have been nice to just start my trip a little bit earlier but I mean it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do because you need balance in life in order to go on a trip you need to what work go to work so um yes a little tea is that I started dabbling in dating recently of late I think towards the end of winter I started dating just a little bit and guys I realized that I am not ready for these streets these streets are not ready for me I am not ready for these streets I think even these streets not these streets are not I am not ready for these streets like the debauchery that is going on good threatening daily Hi, I want to sit at home and mind my business guys it was so shocking what's happening <laughs> so yeah I decided to be taking red alert red alert retreat back to my place but I mean get one foot in one foot out on these streets so I don't know if I want to date or if I don't want to date I don't know okay yeah like yeah I want to get some cats and I get some cats and I get 50 50 guys I mean if you don't do it when are you gonna do it you need to just go in there and do it up on a life jacket okay the moment see what that too much so yeah I mean that really got me down as well like you know just realizing that mm, dating is so difficult but anyways yeah, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do so ooh, take care of all of this but anyways and then last but not least the reason why I'm also um, I also decided to do the staycation is because you know what I've just decided that you know what life is for the living you gotta live now in the moment I'm, I'm no longer going to subscribe to like waiting for the right time and waiting for my finances to like look good wait for this just like vlogging right now I mean I've been waiting I've been saying to myself ah, you know what next year I'm gonna get myself a proper phone so that I can vlog and whatever but then I was like Mm -mm. The matter okay, hold on, no. The matter is now. So you know what? I'm going to vlog with whatever stuff that I have. Whether the bonnet is more be selling, whether the bonnet is selling, let's say I let let the whole one of our girls are going to see what's happening with the cameras that I have. I'm using all the resources that I have to go on this trip. So please, guys, just do what makes you happy. I'll go now. Go see when you're not sent. Take on the cup and the girl and go to where it is that you need to go. I mean, I'm just going 45 minutes away it's not far away but we have an itinerary and it's just going to be fun I mean we've got so many things that are planned and I just want to take you on the journey obviously like I told you guys I'm new to vlogging so um, don't mind my vlogging skills I'm going to try and get in as much content for you guys so that you guys can see what's going on I want to make sure that you guys get to enjoy this vlog as well while we are waiting for the next best reality TV show because you know that I enjoy a good reality TV show but sometimes we just said it and do chill vibes, chill vibes, chill vibes but like I said don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel subscribe to our channel and show us some love down in the comment section and share this video if you care i love you guys and i'm going to see you soon i'm actually going to show you my luggage and yeah how i am going to get out of this place i'm actually going to pour petrol right now so i'm sorry guys if the lighting is bad this is how i pack i normally just spread the stuff on the floor so that i can see everything that i am packing um for my trip um
um, I'm very disorganized and I'm having like a little bit of like travel anxiety. I don't know if you guys get travel anxiety. I get travel anxiety quite a lot because I'm very pedantic. I do not want to forget anything. Um, if I get if I forget anything when I get to my destination, I get so upset. So I really do not want to forget anything. Um, so for now, I'm going to be starting with my shoes, and I actually wanted to show you guys something. Oh my gosh, I got these shoes. Aren't they so cute? I'm gonna wear them to the dinner. Um, yeah, I got them at like a nice Chinatown, guys. I've been like Chinatown shopping, and I mean, that's what a girl can afford at the moment. But I mean, no shame in my game. Chinatown does give like the best attire. So I do mix it up from time to time. You can never go wrong with the nice sandal heel as well. So I'm going to be packing those. Obviously, like I've got like wages. I don't know. Like people are discriminating against the wages these days. But like I'm a I'm a wage girl, especially like if you're going to be walking long distances and you still want to look like chic. A uh, wage can always help. So I don't know if I'm overpacking or what um but we'll see we'll see when we get there and then hats guys oh my word i am such a hat girl especially when i'm on vague hey um so i'm going to be taking all of my hats i'm taking all of them i'm taking everything like nobody deserves to leave ah, look at that look at it look at it look at it Oh my gosh, I collect hats. I collect hats. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite hats and it's been it's Portuguese. It's Portuguese. Anyways. Yeah. I don't know how that looks on camera, but anyways, and then I got this on the street. I bought this on the side of the road. It was like one of these guys that was selling hats. And yeah, he did a great job at like swindling me out of my last coin to buy this hat. And as you can see, I'm also wearing a hat here because my hair is, ooh, you guys just saw the mess that it is. And then obviously like my handbags, you need a couple of handbags. So this one I stole from my little sister. Oh my word, it's such a baddie handbag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying baddie. But it's such a cute handbag. I'm going to be taking this for my dinner, for my day dance. Mm. And I've actually got shoes in here. Oh, I bought groceries on my way to home when I was coming back home from work. So yeah we're actually going to be doing like a young cocktail challenge um i know i'm packing all like guys do you see what i've got like i've got some vacation anxiety because honestly oh honestly i'm just all over the place i don't even know where to touch and where to hold so this is going to be for my cocktails i've got my cucumbers my rosemary my mint um lemon you can never go wrong with lemon and then the stuff that i'm going to be drinking for the weekend is obviously gin i'm a gin girl i love gin and this gin is affordable and for me it does the trick no hangovers no nothing so i definitely 100 percent love it and then i want to just show you guys also something that i bought so i went to some i went to this camp and i got myself some medication guys you know, for those hectic hangovers and you need to wake up in the morning and do activities. So I made sure that I have like my painkillers, you know, and I've got my slow mag as well that can get that can get my energy up. I've also got like other tablets that I take and then I just do my little concoction and it really does the trick with my hangovers. Everybody's got their own hangover cure, but mine I know it's the best. The best thing actually to do guy hangover is make sure that you eat correctly you hydrate and then you take your medication before you sleep on the night but take your medication having ate like a good proper meal don't take medication only drunk and whatever disoriented do not hear that from me um so yeah i need to like complete my packing 
shenanigans so what i do is that all the all the little like vests and stuff like undergarments i put them in my bag so this is like an inner vest that i'm going to be wearing with like my outfit and you know all the tops that i wear inside of my outfits i put them inside my bag um so that's what's going on here and then oh guys don't do not forget the swimsuit do not forget the swimsuit i want to show you oh i'm all over the place and also never mind the swimsuit the chiffon scarves darling the chiffon scarves like i've got a chiffon scarf collection and i will never leave it because i mean it helps for those bad hair days or if your wig is not sitting right because like i've got my wigs but then the laces are not cut as yet so i put scarves on them until i can get them cut so that's why i'm carrying my chiffon scarves and i buy like a lot so that they can match mix and match with my outfits um that's why i do that and then i actually wanted to show you guys my costume where are you guys don't you just love this costume i got this costume like before 2020 the 2020 i got this costume 2020 and what i like about this costume is that i actually sometimes wear it as a top because it's so cute at the bottom and then some like a high-waisted something and yeah i think it works it can work really well as a top what do you guys think i think yay if you think nay i don't care i'm still gonna wear it as a top anyways so yeah i'm going to actually be showing you my two pieces that i got for the trip that i packed um um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am Like I've just been having like the hardest time Like these past couple of weeks have been so hard morning guys Oh my gosh, so today is the day of the trip. I am so excited I woke up like a little school child that is going on their first trip and you're gonna be away from mom and dad i don't know why i'm so excited i think it's because i haven't like traveled in such a long time but i am ready to go um everything seems to be just a-okay at the moment um, yeah i just need to get ready for the day i will be catching up um with the people that i'm going with later on so yeah the only thing that yeah it's kind of a downer is that i have to go to work before i go because i don't have any days at work so i don't have any leave days so i still have to go to work but i mean that's still fine as long as i still get to go on my trip so yeah let's do this so guys I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be vlogging for you this weekend. So this is the current situation. Um, it looks like I am shooting a pilot for a show. So this is how I'm going to try and get it in for you guys because I really want to share with you this weekend. So quiet on set guys, quiet on set. <laughs> Anyways, let me just quickly show you the current situation in terms of like my bags and what I have packed. So these are the things that I have packed. Okay, so here is like my food and drink stuff. Well, not food, drinks. And then I put my shoes in that red bag. That's my work bag over there, the brown one. Obviously, handbag. And then this is my actual bag. This is my gym bag that I carry, so that's not gonna come with me. Um, and all of this is just going to be for the weekend. Um, yeah guys you just need to be prepared well i'm a prepared type of girl so anyways i also wanted to show you guys my two-piece outfits so this is my two-piece outfit that i'm going to be wearing i don't even know why i'm calling them two-piece guys i am so old damn it i am so old but anyways and just my morning ritual guys oh my gosh so every time I wake up in the morning I switch on a white candle 
and I just think like it just clears out the energy it just creates like you know a very zen space it's just my belief and then also it reminds me that I should pray before I leave the house um, because obviously I have to switch off the candle before I leave so I like switching it on so it can remind me that you know what you can't leave because you need to slay these enemies with prayer <laughs> anyways I'm just kidding um, let me go make myself some coffee and then try and get ready for the day because I am procrastinating at the moment and just playing around with you guys guys can I please show you how unpredictable Cape Town weather is so this is what the weather situation is currently looking like at the moment you literally cannot see the mountain at the moment I think it's just misty hopefully it doesn't get cloudy and rainy but I mean here just expect the unexpected so it's still beautiful though but we need sunny we need sunny days like it's not it's not that type of weekend so this this weather needs to chill it just needs to so guys i am halfway through my destination i've just stopped to get some supplies i did say that i have to work today so yeah it's just been very tiring i feel a little bit sticky and i'm driving alone but the nice thing about driving alone is that you get to jam so you jam into your own music and yeah that's the fun part about like driving alone so i just hit a pit stop to get some ice get some food and then head out to my destination i'm super excited even though i'm tired i'm so looking forward to this guys maybe let me show you where i am so that you guys can see and you guys can have an idea of where i am So as you can see guys, I am at a garage, stopped at a pit stop, at an engine one stop and yeah, I'm about to head out so. Guys, it's Saturday <laughs> and I just woke up but I don't want to wake up um, other people that's in the house. Let's check what time it is on the floor. I actually wanted to give you guys just a long tour. It is half past seven in the morning. Yeah, last night was fun. Um, so that's why I'm trying to keep quiet so that I don't wake up other people that are sleeping. But I'm giving you a room tour. So this is where I was sleeping last night. Let's see if I can get some light into the room so that the quality is a little bit better. But yeah this place was actually quite nice not was but is it's actually quite nice i'm so impressed we got it on a b and p i slept so well last night especially with the tv going i mean i'm a girl that likes sleeping the tv let me show you me so this then becomes me <laughs> I am so tired. Can you see how naked I am? Hey guys, if you can see my underwear, oh my gosh, the tag hair of it all. This is the shower. Airbnb guys. And it was very affordable, let me tell you. So we bought we all paid a thousand rand each for the weekend. So you can do the math. And then this then becomes the outside area. Yeah, look at the view. Mm. Let me try and get the camera on my face. So guys, you see this place? Do you see it? It's actually quite nice. I watched the sun come up this morning, which was quite nice. I am so tired. Um, I have to go make breakfast for the morning right now. That's why I'm at this early. And yeah, we're going to wine tasting. And then we're going to have like a very nice formal dinner at this place called Botanicum. Um, but yeah, I... I'm 
tired but this is what girls trips are for guys it's for unwinding and just having fun and I'm um, enjoying my little staycation it's yeah I am not dissatisfied at all with this place it's very cute so I'll catch up with you guys later maybe I'll show you the downstairs area once everything is set up because it's a little bit of a mess we had like a braai last night oh yes and the nice thing about this place is that it actually has like a gas stove like the best gas stove ever so load shedding or not we the party keeps going the party keeps moving and we came with portable speakers so yeah the girls are ready the girls have backup the girls have generators we are load shedding 